finish this sentence. When I found out I booked a role on Spider-Man: Homecoming, I almost peed in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> when I met Chris Evans on The Gifted, I wanted to a scream Captain America, <laughs> b stop thinking inappropriate thoughts, c flirt just a little. Oh man, probably like between B and C. <laughs> I was like, he makes a hot dad. What happened in the trailers? <laughs> All right. Perfect segue into the next question. On the leading men from your movies, which would you want to X Y Z? A. John Hamm. B. Michael Keaton. C. Chris Evans. Different ones for different reasons, but I'll I'll stick with uh, Chris Evans. I thought you were going to say all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> is it the, the more is, the merrier? Is, is it the eyelashes? Is it the body? What is it? Yeah. Is Chris, what is it? He's very just like. I heard he's a really sweet. nice guy. Yes, he's just very. I mean, they all like. Um, I didn't get to work with Mike, Michael Keaton, but working with John Hamm and Chris Evans, they're both so nice and like sweet and charming. Um, I think Chris Evans partly it's the eyes too. And just okay. very, very charming. Okay, so there you got there you have it, guys. It's charm. Whew. And sincerity. Not, <laughs> not, not, not none of this bicep. It helped I guess abs. maybe the fact that he's super attractive might might play in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, an Asian or ethnic stereotype in Hollywood that still makes you laugh. Oh. Makes me laugh. Yeah. Um I guess just like the Asian like mathlete, like that. <laughs> Maybe partly because I kind of was one of those people too. <laughs> so I can chuckle like, yeah, I, d I did math competition. Okay, on the, flip si <laughs> on the flip side, an Asian or ethnic stereotype in Hollywood that makes you yawn or cringe? Yawn or cringe? Uh, I think the asexuality mm. of especially um, Asian, Asian males. Men. Yes. We never sexualize. Like, look, look at Lawrence. He's sexy. Yeah. Present company excluded. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, you're a good looking guy. Oh, yawning, so. yawning. Okay, ne next question, next question, next question. Your two cents on this statement. Caucasian actors only have to speak in English, but Chinese actors are expected to speak English, Cantonese, or Mandarin, as well as put out, pull off a Chinese Chinglish accent. Oh, and possibly sometimes other Asian languages. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Japanese, Korean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Quick story. So one time I was going in for a casting and they wanted authentic Chinese. I was made in China, I was born in China, I speak Mandarin, right? And it's all over the breakdown. And also when you walk in, like in the um, waiting room area, like it's like casting director is Chinese. Well, no, if you're not Chinese. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I get it. Because some people lie. I've never, I've never lied, but I, some people right. do. So it's, it's like height. It's like height. <laughs> right? So I go in. And as soon as I walk in, the casting director looks at me and she's like, you're not Chinese. What? And I was like... Uh, <laughs> Gobsmacked? Yeah, what? I like gestured to my resume. I was like, ah, I actually was born in China. Uh, I speak Mandarin. And she just like glared at me. She just like wasn't having it. Oh, that's crazy. And, uh, shocker, I didn't book that role. <laughs> I know you love board games, so... Oh, I love board games. Monopoly, Trivial Pursuit, or Scrabble? Oh man, none of the above. <laughs> really, really? Okay, what board what, 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 what games do you like? I mean, I haven't played those in childhood, so I like it, uh, these, they're more like adult board games. Trivial yeah, some Pursuit of... is for kids, apparently. <laughs> well, I'm awful at trivia, maybe that's why. <laughs> um, but I love like games like, uh, they're a little bit nerdier though, like Werewolf, and uh, it's like a mafia kind of game, or Resistance, <laughs> or like, basically you do role playing, you lie to each other, it's like a group of friends, you, you're like, I'm, I'm the good guy, and you have an unfair advantage. You're an actor. <laughs> <laughs> I have a harder time lying. Like it's for me, like acting's like about finding the truth. And so when I lie, I feel so awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people say that they're like, "But you're an actor. You should. This oh should be easy God, for you." This and is I'm like, "Fun. She's getting all method on." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Jonah. I know you play lacrosse, um, and you're quite a sports buff. So, the hottest actors are a baseball players. B, football players, C, hockey players, or D, Olympic swimmers? Oh. What was C? Hockey players. That's right. Yes, C. <laughs> <laughs> okay, true or false? And this is because I know you really well. 
You get anxiety attacks when your scanner doesn't work. My scanner. <laughs> <laughs> She scans everything, people. I do, she I do. Everything. I went like, oh, I went like paperless. <laughs> oh man. Like um, this stresses her out. <laughs> paper, paper. <laughs> I probably a little bit. I don't like when technology breaks down. My favorite catchphrase or personal mantra is. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you never take. Wayne Gretzky, hockey player. Hockey player. <laughs> Right. They have good quotes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much for Thank stopping you, by, kicking off in the limelight with Lawrence Chow. I really, really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much, Chow. Continue <laughs> success, Chow. Thank you. <laughs>